Look, boy, I ain't from the hood, boy, but I'm a dog like good boy. I'm kinda good at the rap, so I'm like, my should, boy. Home Depot, and I wish a nigga would, boy. Yeah, Dinga Johnson and this. Aye, aye. Look, married to the game, no elope. You cannot find me like remote. Blow so cold, need a coat. I feel like Oprah. Everybody gets some smoke. Sheesh, I feel like Vicky when I bob and I weave. I pull out my. Hey guys, Dale the Options Guru here, Think Tank Trading. Thanks for joining my live watch list tonight. So, as you can see, very informal setting tonight. Uh, me and Emily are in our little bar area here down here. Uh, we do have computers in the area and uh, we're just going over some charting tonight and we thought we'd share some research with you guys. Uh, we've had many questions over the last few weeks in regards to how we find catalysts and news and things in that regard. So uh, we want to show you a few things that we've uncovered tonight uh, that we're watching it going into next week, what the overall market sentiment is right now and uh, some potential plays coming into Monday. So overall, as you've all noticed, uh, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones, all very, very, very high uh, towards all time high uh, in many regards. And it doesn't feel that way. It doesn't feel that way because most things that you see then you're used to seeing, uh, growth stocks in particular, gene editing stocks, EV stocks, penny stocks, they've all sold off dramatically. Uh, some of them being at one year low, or lower so uh, what we're used to seeing and what's moving right now uh, typically isn't uh, going the same route of what everyone's used to seeing on a daily basis so right now you're still seeing that high influx of buying and value stocks Home Depot Apple uh, Microsoft Lowe's very safe uh, very solid companies with a strong history uh, of earnings so that's what you've seen move lately uh, it doesn't mean that the market can't bounce back it doesn't mean that it will uh, I absolutely think that a rotation will happen uh, it's just a matter of when so we're gonna try and catch the bottom on a lot of these things to the best of our ability so the first one on watch tonight guys is sticker symbol BABA -A. Uh, this is Alibaba very very familiar stock and company for a lot of you guys uh, for multiple reasons one i think it's very underrated in regards to its value uh, and that's especially what's moving right now too uh, i really like the chart setup on it so the first thing i'm going to show you is the chart uh, this is the one hour chart on this uh, we were trading in a sideways slowly falling pattern as you can see uh, we we're catching support getting rejected at resistance coming back to support briefly lost it with most of the market there but overall, the support levels held pretty strong. As soon as we broke this resistance level, guys, we gapped up. And as it came bleeding back down, uh, it's consolidating right on its new support. So that's typically a very good sign, all right? As long as this new level holds here around uh, 237, 238, uh, then this can consolidate a little bit more right here and uh, see a lot more upside. Uh, this thing has the potential to go all the way back up towards $270. If you look at this on the daily chart, uh, we're just right here after the gap up and just to this next resistance level near $275. Uh, that'd be a really, really strong move for an options play. So we're gonna be watching BABA going into next week for sure. So in regards to how we find these, um, there is no website that we use typically for technical analysis, me and Emily do all of our own. However, there are tools that we use on multiple different websites, all right? So the first one, we do use tip ranks typically um, for news sentiment, all right? This has all of the different, you know, analyst ratings and PT upgrades all instantaneously on here, okay? They have a ton of different tools research tools, trending stocks, insider hot stocks, analyst top stocks, top scores, penny stock screener, smart investor newsletter, fang stocks all the way to electric vehicle, comparisons, the works, okay? So the first thing that you're gonna look at on here when we're in Alibaba, it's rated from one to 10 based upon what they believe. Uh, they have a lot of different factors. So as you can see, they say that Tip rank smart score analyzes stocks based on eight factors, all right? And the eight factors are just this right here. 
analyst rating, blogger opinions, hedge fund activity, insider activity, tip ranks investor, new sentiment, technicals, and fundamentals, okay? They put all these things together uh, and they give you the best outcome that they see possible. And uh, if you look at their record over a 12 month basis, man, it's really, really strong, uh, really strong. So, you know, we, we like this company a lot. Uh, we use it a lot for a lot of different things. Um, but going into the news on Alibaba, and here's the most recent news that you've had. And they use a lot of different things. As you can see, Motley Fool, Zacks, Barons. Uh, you know, it's not just one thing or their own. Uh, it's just news feeds coming from all over the place with a lot of reputable people. So if you click on the Motley Fool article, uh, he's basically talking about Alibaba high growth e-commerce stock at a value stock price, you know, and it is very true uh, This stock did a split last year if you guys all remember I uh, used to trade a lot higher So it ran up into the split it has since kind of been chopping around had a little bit of a run But it is kind of consolidating on a lower level Especially compared to what the future potential growth is for this company now that the sentiment in the market is value stocks going up heavily right now and penny stocks tanking guys uh, really really watch that support level there and let's see if we can get up towards 275 on Alibaba in the way that you would typically find that straight off this front page you go into research tools simply go to trending stocks right here and it's gonna take you into the hottest stocks based upon uh, analyst PT upgrades and buy ratings from the analysts right so as you can see Alibaba number three on here uh, 19 buys, one hold, zero sells. Average price target, $311, outside 30%. So all the way across the board, really strong company, especially in what's moving right now. Now, the second one that I'm looking at, guys, um, and I typically search for these sometimes. You can just go straight to the search bar and go to XPang. Uh, that's what I'm watching right now, and I'm going to show you guys why. They just had an article come out just within the last couple days in regards to um, their technology. Now, autonomous driving is closer than you think, uh, but not because of Tesla. So this article is all about XPeng. And uh, if you read into it, you know, they're very, very advanced in regards to their technology. Uh, they just had these cars go all over China, 3,000 kilometers. Each of them had between 94 to 96% efficiency all the way across the board. This is in uh, heavy rain, traffic, mountains, everything, all right? Their technology is really strong. Now, they do use a LiDAR technology, unlike Tesla. Tesla is kind of going against the grain and wants their own platform on it. But a lot of these other companies are using different LiDAR technologies that is essentially going to be cheaper for it. So, you know, we'll see where it goes. Looking at XPeng on a chart perspective, it's, it's getting to some really interesting levels, okay? So... Looking at it on the daily chart, you guys can see that we had this massive rally all the way up to 74.49, all right? It sold off. We had a nice little spike, sold off even more, okay? Now this is going into March 5th when everything really tanked that day, okay? Now, it came all the way down to its original break point right here, okay? And that's a key sign that had to hold up. So it did hold in that range rallied a bit and now it's just been kind of chopping around but if you go to this on the one hour chart i was watching it last week um for this wedge pattern you know and it did break out of it momentarily but it, it lost it right here so i'm just kind of letting it consolidate a little bit more and i think that you know we are going to see some divergence on this very soon and i think that this level down here is likely going to hold up for XPeng, and I, I think that it rallies. So I'm going to be watching this one. Uh, it's not to say that it can't come down farther. A lot of people have been dip buying growth stocks lately, and it just keeps dipping. Believe me, I know. Uh, we're trying to catch the bottoms on a lot of them. And, you know, if you've tried to dip buy something and it hasn't worked in your favor, guys, don't think it's you. It's not just you, guys. I trade full time all day, every day. I haven't been able to time no bottoms lately, all right? Uh, maybe for some scalps, set stop losses even and stop out, but you're never gonna catch perfect bottom and you're never gonna sell at the absolute top. It's just a simple known fact, all right? 
what you can do is average in as low as you possibly can and trim on the way up, okay, and leave some runners to see if it can go farther. Other than that, that's all we're really trying to do in this game, buy low and sell high, right? A lot of people try to make it more complicated than it is, but that's all we're really doing, guys, and a lot of these growth stocks are going to rally again. Now, if people think that inflation is real and it's really gonna happen, right? Well, value stocks are all-time high if you take a look at Microsoft all right let's take a look at Microsoft real quick so Microsoft was in a wedge pattern right broke the downtrend all-time high consolidated broke its new all-time high and is literally straight up parabolic right now so a lot of companies like this are all the thing stocks and all the value stocks they're all looking like that right now. But here's what's gonna happen. These value stocks are gonna get too expensive. People are going to put their money in other places. Where are they gonna put it? If they think inflation's real, they don't wanna hold it in cash. Cryptocurrency is up 10,000% in every crypto. <laughs> That's what it feels like, don't it? I mean, Dogecoin just hit 50 cents. So, you know, a lot of these growth stocks that are at one year low or lower, this is where it's going to rotate into. It happens almost every single year, guys. So, you know, knowing it and seeing it happen time and time again, I know that this rotation is going to happen, uh, and I know the strategy to do it, and hopefully you guys listen and we buy in on some of these huge discounts coming up here soon, okay? But those are the two uh, larger cap and mid-cap stocks that I'm looking at. Um, I'm gonna have Emily jump on here with you guys and show you the penny stock screener and then I'm gonna jump off to close it out uh, We do have another watch list uh, that we're posting for you guys tomorrow again This is just an informal one for the night for you guys. We just wanted to show you guys a few things, but uh, Thank you guys, and I'll, I'll see you here momentarily Hey everyone, Emily here from Think Tank. Just wanted to pop in and say hey. I know it's Saturday night, but uh, Dale and I were just going through a few different things on tip ranks. Um, and we were in the Discord tonight, had a few questions I asked about, some research. So we thought we'd uh, pop on and show you a few things that we like to do here. Okay, so going over to tip ranks, one of the research tools I like to use a lot is um, the screener tool. You've got a few different options here. You can go to a regular stock screener or use the penny screener. Um, for fun today, let's just kind of take a look at the penny screener uh, and see what we've got. Okay, so when you flip over here, you have a lot of different options as far as sectors uh price target upside you can even do more filters here get uh, more ways to narrow down your search um but just to save time for today i'm just going to kind of do my little price target upside bring my highest percent upside to the top to take a look at things um and one that i noticed today when i was looking was um galton therapeutics so Galton Therapeutics was actually reiterated with a $14 price target just yesterday. So that's good news for us. Um, let's take a look over here in the news. Tip ranks makes it really easy to kind of go through different sectors um, when you're looking into a specific stock and trying to do research on it. So I like to flip, o flip over to the news first and see what we've got going on looks like four days ago um they had a little article combo study shows enhanced tumor response um insider buying earlier this month so everything kind of heading in the right direction here uh looking at the little chart it looks like we had a little pop here probably right after um that insider buying report came out Okay, so obviously doing the research on tip ranks is not the end of it. After that, we like to uh, jump over into Weeble here and take a look at the chart, see what we've got going on, and take a look at some different levels. Um, as you can see here, it looks like we've been on a down, we were on a downtrend here for a while, and it seemed to have bottomed out around this $1.50 range. Had a little uh, rally here, 
found some new support and it looks like it's been settling in over here and we've got some pretty solid support right in this two dollar range if you look at the past levels on it, you can see that it has hit, you know, these highs of $9 and definitely pops up here to three and four on a regular basis and actually used to trend within a four to six dollar channel. So getting it over here in the two dollar range, I think is a very good, very good place to, to grab this up and at least get a starter position. Personally, I think we do have some potential upside and we can see uh, Galton Therapeutics head back up towards its channel of the five to six dollar range. Um, but for now, I will probably get a starter right around that two dollar. If I can catch it a little below two dollars, that would be ideal. But it looks really good in this range here. And I I do think it has a lot of great things in the pipeline for it, as you saw in the news sediment that we've got some great things coming in. So, you know, just one example of the different screeners and research tools you can use here on tip ranks. Um, but as I said earlier, you always want to go over to Weeble, look at those levels, look at the support, look at where you are and just do your research, take your time with things and make sure that it's where you want to enter. Wait for the play to come to you. Don't try to chase it. All right, well, I'll pass you guys back over to Dale. Have a great evening, and we'll talk soon. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, so jumping over real quick, this is TradingView. Uh, for those of you guys that do not use this, uh, we do have an algo in here that we use. It makes it very, very easy to identify buy and sell signals. It automatically gives you the trend line support and resistance uh, and gives you the best outcome of everything. It has volatility, volume, RSI, uh, the sentiment, uh, the outer bands are essentially overbought and oversold signals and uh, it works on every time frame. So we love trading view. It works for crypto, stocks, ETFs, everything. So uh, in addition to that, we use lucid tracking. Uh, we do have stock card. You know, typical things like stock tweets and things like that. You know, stock tweets is fine um, as long as you're not following people into Castor Marine at two dollars a share. You know, sometimes you just got to use sense and not chase things that are on a parabolic spike because uh, some of those things were way, way, way overbought. Now, I did want to bring one last penny stock also to your guys' attention. Uh, this is one I'm just now getting a starter position on. And I want to show you guys something real quick, okay? Let me go ahead and delete all these excess ones here. But if you look at Waiter, and I know I brought this up in the past, man, but I just really have to highlight this for you guys. I want to show you. So if you look at the very first earnings, this goes all the way back into last March. Now, I know they got this big spike essentially because of the country shutting down, all right? They're a food delivery service. All these things were spiking at that time. Uh, it fit right into the COVID era. Uh, since then, though, uh, the next earnings also had a big rally, and then the third earnings had an even bigger rally, okay? This thing fell all the way back off, right to its trend line support, and ran up, hit resistance, tested resistance again. Uh, but what you're seeing right now is a elongated period of consolidation uh, and we do still have some solid bullish divergence right here, okay? So if you look at the last couple consolidation periods and look at the move that happened afterwards and each one was going into an earnings. Now, earnings is just right around the corner for Waiter, okay? Earnings is right here. Everything is lining up for this thing to make a nice 30 to 50% move. Now, uh, it could come a little lower as you can see that these lower levels, if you look at it on the one hour, uh, 255, we're sitting at 262 right now. Uh, but you also got to note that this is all very low volume, okay? If you look at this, there was no volume on here when these people were selling. So this is not typically indicative of the stock price. If the stock comes down on very low volume, a lot of people panic out of positions, but those low volume sales don't really mean too much, all right? 
Everything else on the stock looks really solid. They also got into the cannabis delivery sector, among a lot of other things. They're making a lot of the right moves right now. I personally think, guys, just being honest with you, at some point in time, it may take a few months, maybe this chops around a little more, uh, I think that this breaks out to the upside, and I think at some point it goes 4 to $5 if it breaks that top level resistance. I think it can go even higher. So definitely keep an eye out for this one. Uh, and we have a few others that we're going to share with you guys on the next video that are right there at levels where they're going to double. So hopefully you guys got into some of these great plays last week. If you guys jump over into the Discord, Kindred absolutely crushed on the Tesla calls yesterday. And he's just done amazing, man. Uh, 10,000 to 50K challenge. Uh, he hit 100,000. So he went from 50,000 to 100,000 this month. And he cashed it out, so the challenge was very, very successful. Uh, we've had some really, really solid scalpers in here lately, a really good setup. So me and Emily are going to finish studying for the night, and uh, we're going to share our next findings with you guys. But thank you all so much for joining uh, tonight, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Again, if you guys want to uh, check tip ranks out, uh, link's going to be in the description, as well as Weeble. And in addition to that, if you guys ever want to join our trading community, uh, we're always available here for you guys. We're in the room 24-7 going over trading ideas and everything. So really great community of traders, man. A lot, a lot of great people in there. So hopefully you guys come check us out and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much.